What's up, everybody? It's Rival. Back here with another episode by myself again. That's, that's three. Three in like a week. It's a new record. So you should be proud of me for doing this. Uh, man, but it's been, uh, we're doing another March Madness, and it's been a crazy one. And if you haven't seen already, our bracket is busted. It, uh, it went downhill really quick in the game that I said was going to be what I think is going to be uh, determine the winner of the entire tournament between Kansas and Gonzaga. I mean, we'll get at it, but uh, if you didn't know, Gonzaga won, beat Kansas 89-68. So let's get into the 16 that we had. We'll run through real quick. We'll kind of uh, kind of recap before we get into into deep into the 16. So our turn, our our bracket started off pretty solid. I mean, it was decent. We had we had quite a few solid picks. We were looking good. Maybe some some picks we were reaching on, but uh, yeah, it was it's been decent. The first sixty four fun tournament. It seems like it's gone fast. Um, a lot of upsets were happening more than I think the thirty two round than the sixty four. Uh, there were a couple upsets. Let's see. Let's go back through the sixty four and see. Uh, NC State over Texas Tech. I mean, you can look at that one. Oakland over Kentucky might be one of the bigger ones. Uh, with Oakland coming in 80 to 76. Uh, let's see, any other ones that are big upsets? Um, I mean, Yale over Auburn, number 13 over number four. That's another one. Uh, let's look down at the West and Midwest. Any big upsets there? I don't know if there's oh, the 11 over six again. Uh, let's see, no 16s. Made a number 12 over St. That, that Grand Canyon over St. Mary's. That was a big one there but uh man that was that was a fun one to watch too it really was, i was really pulling for seminary on that one um but yeah i don't think any of the 16s made it no 16s made it anywhere did they no 16 for one all number one seeds pulled off in the first so so far how many there's only what how many number ones are left Let's see i don't know i guess all all number ones except for houston are still in see and uh around the 32 UConn was looking solid. Um, Houston got upset. No, actually, they're playing right now. Take that back. They are playing right now. I did pick Texas A&M to win. So as of right now, all four are still alive. Houston, Texas A&M is actually happening right now with three minutes, 22 seconds left in the second round. Or the second half. Second round. Um, and then San Diego State and Yale are, are playing right now. Um, let's see. Man, this is, uh, I'm in 32. I think it's 216 yet. Getting way ahead of myself. I'm going to run out of 32. Uh, the UConn Northwestern. Number one against number nine. UConn pulled it off 75-58. Moving on to the next, to the Sweet 16. We got San Diego State and Yale. That's going on right now. 45-21 San Diego State leads. Since a 12 and 13. No, it's number five and a, and a 13, sorry. But I have nobody in that one. Uh, let's see. The Dukes lost to the Fighting the Fighting Eyes, Fighting Line Eye. Illinois pulls it, off, pulls it off 89-63. Number three over number 11. Moving on. Uh, Washington State, 56. Iowa State, 67. Fairly a little scoring game for them, I think. Um, number two over number seven. Iowa State moves on to face Illinois this Thursday. So, man, that got pushed out quite a bit. Um, that's at 9 o'clock. The next day, wow, that's I can't. That's crazy to see. I think it pushed out that far, but uh, yeah, that's nuts. So they got four days to rest, figure out their game plans. That's what Sweet Sixteen will start. Um, yeah, let's jump over to Houston, Texas A&M right now in the South. Going on right now, two forty-two left, seventy-six, sixty-five. Houston leads that one. Uh, James Madison, fifty-five. Duke, ninety-three. Man, a solid team that could pull it off as well. I would like to see it won't happen because you won't be able to see Duke and them in the finals. Um, Duke and Gonzaga in the finals. I'd like to see Iowa State Gonzaga, but we'll see how, what happens. Uh, NC State, Oakland. NC State pulls it off 79 73. This is a number 11 and a number 14. Uh, NC State took out Texas Tech, which we did pick Texas Tech in that one, and Oakland took out Kentucky. And NC State came through, won that one. Moving on to the 16, 
Number 10, Colorado, 77. Number 2, Marquette, 81. Marquette moves on to Sweet 16, take on NC State. Duke will take on the winner of the Houston-Texas A&M game. Like I said, right now, Houston is, is winning that one, 76-67. Uh, 16 there. Let's go up. UConn against the winner. Oh, wait. That's the first. San Diego State, Yale, 45-21. So maybe San Diego State. We'll see. Illinois, Iowa State, drop down to the west. North Carolina, Michigan State, solid game. Very well played. Uh, North Carolina pulled it out 85-69. That was a number one over a number nine with uh, North Carolina being number one. Number 12, Grand Canyon, 61. Number four, Alabama, 72. Alabama moves on to face North Carolina. I just can't wait to see North Carolina just get destroyed in that one. Um, I did think North Carolina would move on for that, too. Number six, Clemson against number three, Baylor. Clemson pulls off the win, 72-64. to 64. We took Baylor in that game. We did pick that one, too, but we picked Baylor to win that one as well. Uh, number seven, Dayton, 68. Number two, Arizona, 78. Arizona pulls off the win in that one. We did pick that one, so they go on to play Baylor in the Sweet 16. Uh, over to the Midwest, number one, Purdue, 106. Against number eight, Utah State, 67. A dominant performance by Purdue. Um, they're really going to need to play that way, I think, against Gonzaga, who is a very solid team, who took out number four, Kansas, 89-68. Gonzaga moves on to go against Purdue. Man, what a solid, solid game that was. Upsetting to see uh, our bracket go down, but glad to see Gonzaga pull off the win and go on to the next round. Um, I really like play, watching Azaga play. Enjoy everything about that program. Um, but also, I enjoy everything about Kansas as well. Uh, I hope Gonzaga can pull it off and, and move in to the finals and hopefully play you know, Iowa State. Hopefully keep our bracket somewhat intact. I picked one at least to move on. Uh, next game, Oregon. Number 11, Oregon, 73. Number 3, Creighton. 86, Creighton pulls off the win to move on against Tennessee, who beats number seven, Texas, 62 to 58. Tennessee pulls off that one. So Tennessee, Creighton in the Sweet 16, Purdue Gonzaga in that one as well. Um, in this one, we do not have anybody left in the Midwest that can move on um, after the Purdue. We pick Purdue to win it. Um, our bracket's dead there. Over in the West, we have North Carolina, who will be the only one that we can possibly have get any points from for moving on because we picked them, and unfortunately, we picked Baylor to move on, too, so that's not going to happen there. Baylor's done. Um, man, North Carolina can go on and play against, I, man, I want to say, I do want to say, uh, let's see, I do think North Carolina will beat Alabama. And then Clemson, Arizona. I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna take Clemson in that one. I think I'll take Clemson against North Carolina to go to the uh, Elite Eight to put North Carolina against Clemson uh, over in the Midwest. Purdue, Gonzaga. I'm gonna take Gonzaga in that one. And then Creighton, Tennessee. Gonna take Tennessee in that one as well. So Gonzaga, Tennessee to the Elite Eight. Back up to the South. I put Texas A&M possibly. So we who we pick, but which if it's if it's Houston against Duke, that will be a huge game to decide. Um, oh man, do we take? I'll stick with Duke. I will ride with Duke in that one to move on to the Elite Eight in the South, and then NC State Marquette. I will stick with Marquette to go against Duke in the Elite Eight. We did pick Duke to move on to the Elite Eight, so there's some points we can get there for the bracket wise. Um, over to the east, UConn against either South Dakota State or Yale. Um, either way, I don't think any one of them are beating uh, UConn. I think UConn moves on to face the winner of Illinois, Iowa State. Man, um, I'm going to stick with Iowa State because that's, that's who we went with. So we'll go with Iowa State moving on to go against uh, UConn. In the Elite Eight, so that means in our Elite Eight lineup, that leaves Iowa State, UConn, there, Duke, and Marquette, yep, and then Gonzaga, Tennessee, North Carolina, and Clemson.
Man, it's been a crazy tournament. A fun tournament. Um, let me know how you guys' brackets have been going. Let me know if you still have something something uh, popping off. You can still win some money. Maybe uh, maybe save your bracket here or there. Let me know. I know that uh, in our family one, I'm, I'm not doing good. I am obviously second place, but uh, where am I at? Let's, let's look at the brackets real quick. I'm sitting obviously in second place, but I am down, I'm down five points. In the round of 64, I only got 17 right against, and I'm, I'm pretty much playing against my son. So he's got, I got 17, he got 22. Round of 32, I got 14, he got 20. So this is not looking good for me at all. He's up by 11 points right now. I'm not too happy about it. It's a, it's a rough one. And especially if I, if I don't pull this off, because he's got, who does he have? He's got somebody else. He's got Iowa State winning this. So if Iowa State goes on, like I predicted him to go to the finals, that's going to be a lot of points for him as well. Uh, he's got a solid, still has a solid bracket. He's got somebody, at least in every game, still to go, if not both, which is ridiculous. Um, looks like Houston is... Houston is up nine right now, 82-73 with a minute 20 left. Uh, South Dakota State right now is winning, 45-21, still with the second half ready to start. And this could be a could be a game at the end here. Down, oh, they're up 10 now. I must be shooting free throws right now. Obviously, I'm not watching the game, but uh, man, this is gonna be a it's gonna be a fun game to to watch and continue to do. Hopefully. They can pull it out. Houston can pull it out, and we'll move on, move on from there. Um, man, to see Kansas lose that game against Gonzaga, um, it did hurt just to see him lose just because I had him in the bracket. But, man, it was, I was so thankful to see Gonzaga move on. Uh, I should have gone with my gone with my favorite homer pick or whatever you want to call it. it should have gone with Gonzaga. I do regret not going with Gonzaga. Um, and I, to be honest, if I would have taken them all the way to the, to the national final. Against Duke, yeah. So as of right now, that's that's how I would have done it. If I would have redone it, I would have taken Gonzaga all the way to Iowa State. I would have. Oh, man, these ones are these ones are crazy. Fun games to watch for sure. I think with this Texas Texas A and M, well, seventy five eighty three. So they're moving up, catching up to them. Minute fifteen left. Man, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a solid game. I think if we can get anything going with this one, Houston. It might be crazy to see Houston lose this one to a number nine, uh, which is definitely possible for him to do it. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I am gonna try and pull it up live and, and kind of record as we're doing it, but it's uh, it's gonna be crazy. Number nine, number one. They're down. Down eight points. I mean, I don't know if they're gonna be able to pull it off. So this a minute fifteen, minute sixteen left. That's a tough one. A um, and M has been a solid team. I mean, they're shooting, shooting very well. Uh, let's see, they're they're top. Let's see, sharp for sharp for Houston, twenty four points. Cryer twenty points. Sheet sixteen. Roberts thirteen. Wilson six, uh, top scores on and now Radford twenty three, Oseki fifteen, Taylor ten, Garcia nine, Washington seven. I mean they're they're looking good. Uh, field goals, well, Houston's hitting fifty two, and they're only hitting forty. Free throws though, they're A uh, and M's hitting sixty one percent, Houston's hitting seventy six percent. Three pointers, five of fifteen for A and M at thirty three percent. 10 at 30 for 33 percent for Houston. Um, they and it was definitely out rebounding like crazy, 36 to 28. I mean, man, this this is one team that, yeah, oh, 78, 78, 83, moving closer. They dropped a three. Could be, I mean, that could come down. I mean, I don't think they'll force an overtime. This is more likely going to be a last second shot if they can't. Uh, if Houston can't hold them off, which is a very good chance that Houston hold them, hold them off. But I think there's this one. The other one, what's the other game that's going on right now? That's South Dakota State and South Dakota State? Yeah, South Dakota State and Yale. So they're going right now, but I don't think Yale's going to do anything. They're down 
24 points right now. So, man, it's again. L let me know what how you guys have done in the in the comments. And also, I'd, I'd love to have somebody come on and kind of talk a little more basketball because, like I said, I'm not a huge basketball fan, but I do enjoy March Madness, everything about it. Um, I do know a lot of people have had some decent brackets. A lot of people are going strong with their brackets. I have not had any luck this season. Um, I also have not heard of any uh, perfect brackets yet. They always go for that one every year. Somebody trying to get the perfect bracket. Um, but I haven't heard of anything yet. Hopefully, somebody does it. Some, I'm sure it's happened before, but um, I haven't seen anything yet. No talks of it. And maybe it's just me, but I haven't heard a whole lot about the tournament. It doesn't seem like it's as big as it was last year, but it could be also that I'm not paying as much attention, which is not normal because I do pay a lot of attention to it. But I haven't heard a whole lot. I do know a lot of people enjoy watching it everything as well but I don't know we'll see I think we got two uh, we got two games left Texas Texas a and in Houston minute left I think Houston pulls it off to move on so let me know hit us up in the comments make sure to check out the two guys one game pad website for all the merch anything you want phone cases aprons hats beanies sweatshirts t-shirts long sleeve t-shirts uh, notebooks. I mean, anything you can think of, we can get it made. And uh, I don't think we have a promo code as of right now, but we definitely can uh, make something if you want that's definitely there for you guys. So let us know what you think. And again, want to debate, talk about anything, come on the podcast. You're more than welcome with myself or Sig or both of us at the same time. However you want to do it, let us know. We're flexible. Till then, bye, bitch. <laughs>